feel like I had a weird dream, but I just can't remember it. That reminds me, in Sino Japanese myths, there is a creature that eats nightmares. Well, I'm more of a science bat myself, so let's talk about its real-world counterpart, the Tapir. Tapiroidae is a large family, though only the genus Tapirus remains. It has four species. Baird's Tapir lives in Central America and it spills into Mexico and South America a little. It's the largest tapir and its hair is dark brown with a sort of cream colored spot on its chin and throat. The Brazilian tapir lives in a large portion of South America, its northeastern part. Its coat is a light grayish brown. The mountain tapir lives in the Cordilleras, north of the Andes and South America. It's a bit smaller than the other tapirs and its fur is kinda woolly. It is dark brown with the fur around the lips being white. And finally, the inspiration for the legendary Baku, the Malayan tapir. It is black and looks like it's wearing a little white dress. It lives in Southeast Asia, but I guess it used to have a larger range since it finds itself in stories as far as Korea. After all, humans hunted them and encroached on their habitat, to the point where all four species are either endangered or at least vulnerable. We have to watch out for that, as they are great seed dispersers. Oh yeah, I guess I should provide a general description for them. Tapers are usually the biggest animal in their habitat. They are about 2 meters long and 1 meter tall. They tend to be about 150 to 300 kilos, but can reach over 500 kilos. Because of that, only the biggest, baddest predators will hunt them. Even then, their thick hides protect tapers. Also, babies have a camouflage pattern. But the adults can only run, though they're pretty fast. They'll hide in the bushes or even underwater. Most of them live on dry land, but they can go in the water to cool down, eat aquatic vegetation, or let fish eat their parasites. They can also roll in the mud to protect from the sun and insect bites. Tapers eat leaves and fruits, and they can even use their proboscis to grab food. They live alone, except when the mother is with her child. Tapers are pregnant for a whopping 13 months, and give birth to only one calf at a time. They can only have one baby every two years tops. They'll reach full maturity at 3 to 5 years old, with females reaching it sooner. Tapers will usually live into their late 20s. And that'll be it for tonight. I hope you were as captivated as I was by those funny yet adorable creatures. And sweet dreams! <laughs>